Jake, there's got to be something down there. Give me some readings. Still white noise on all frequencies. Look, either these people are dead out to lunch, or... Or what? Or they're just not in the mood to talk to us. Let's take a closer look. Tell me you can fix this. We're losing altitude real fast. Man, this is gonna hurt. Oh yeah, nice driving, Wade. What's that? Up there? Where? What are you talking about? It's like a dog. Okay? Uh, let me guess. You need some geo scans, huh? Yeah, I'd appreciate that. All powerful snake mother. Receive our offering of blood. Nice look, wildlife. Bring out the sacrifice. Venom of the snake. Males. What do you make all this? Well, they speak our language, which means they're either descendants of the colonists or a tribe that was in close contact with them. But apart, apart from the kid, the only people we've seen here are women. Hey, kid. Your uh, name's Will, right? Yeah. Six point nine. I was right. This plan is being torn apart. We need to talk to this queen of yours. After she bays, the queen will interrogate him alone. Alone. Sounds good to me. So what is your name? Adam. Where are you from? I came from a planet called Earth. It's uh, far, far away. 
earth. Tell me the story. An expedition from Earth, men and women, set up a terraforming base here. It was the furthest outpost humans ever colonized, far from the trading routes. For 50 years, Antares Star Base sent reports back to our nearest colony on Sirius. And then, all of a sudden, contact stopped. We've been out of touch with you for nine centuries. Mm -hmm. Why have you come here now? Jake and I came here to help you and your people. Help us? How? Well, your planet is not in the best of shape. The core is unstable. The quakes? Yeah, they're not caused by that uh, snake monster you've got in the pit. Is that so? We need to evacuate your people and find them a new future. Where are the men of your planet? The main of Antares. Men are born to work and women are born to rule. We came here in peace. We have peace. You call this peace, I call this slavery. <laughs> him up and the other one too get up move kill all the gods bring the starmen to me 900 years ago this place was a, a you know thriving terraforming colony with uh, farmers scientists uh, family units men women children that sort of thing what happened Legend has it that the gods were angered by man's attempt to force his will upon the planet. Lightning fell from heaven. There was fire without flames and those two clothes were burned. Mostly men. And the women just took over. We can rule in terrace together. No, I think sharing with a man is against your religion. Will. I have as much right to this mail as you. Excuse me? Quiet. Quiet! You broke the first law. Women never kill women. Soon I'll be writing the law. You're right. So what's this burn zone? Ancient buildings at the edge of our city. Legend says my people once fled from there. Fled? Yes, away from the light of death. This badge is handed down from queen to queen, a relic from the burn zone. It's an ancient faster than light cruiser, like a passenger transport version. There's something like this in the burn zone. That's what I'm hoping. Ship to get you both off my world. Fresh air. We cannot stay here. Texans wars are right behind us. Where to? The burn zone. Let's go. They've freed all the males from the south gas mines. I've sent warriors to the top of the shaft. Round up the slaves later. I want the traitors, Sumeru, and alien heretics. How do you know where this burn zone of yours actually starts? Whoa! Hey, look what I found! We 
When this guy died, I'd say about 900 years ago, his bones were glowing in the dark. We're okay, though, because quantum radiation dissipates real fast. Now, according to the databases, the women were working the terraforming fields further north. All they saw was a bright light, the fire without flame. Uh-huh. Light of death. Uh-uh. Look, mystery solved, okay? The colonists blew themselves up. Mostly women survived, and they just, you know, rebuilt society to their needs. You didn't think Mother Nature would spare an idiot from extinction, did ya? Oh. No comment. Look, it's a pretty primitive setup. Uh... <laughs> Let's go see if your answers are less than horses in the stable. Not bad for a thousand years old. We gotta go. Go, go! Where the hell are they? Here they come! Go, Jake! Go, go, go! of you. We're going on a great journey together. It's not one we want, but one we have to take nevertheless. Okay, any time, people. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fire the left parking booster. Whatever. On the menu tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Southern Fried Snake. Let's get the hell out of here. A universe. 
hers. Ours for the taking. Let's hope we don't screw it up. <laughs>